Hey, it's Brandon from Studio Drum Montreal, and I'm here today to talk to you about paradiddles and why they're my favorite rudiment. So the paradiddle is my favorite rudiment because it switches lead hands. So, you know, you play a paradiddle is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So it has a lot of character because it kind of moves back and forth between the hands. First, you got the right, left, right, right. So you're starting with the right hand. And then you got left, right, left, left. So that's starting with the left hand. So it sounds really cool with drum fills, drum grooves, drum solos, everything. I just love the paradiddle. So today I'm going to talk about four different ways you can practice paradiddles. So in this first part, we're going to look at permutation. So we're going to be permutating the paradiddle, which is a great way to get a lot of mileage out of this pattern. So permutation is when you take a combination, uh, right, left, right, right, for example, and you start on one of the other notes. So you start like on the second note. So instead of right, left, right, right, you'll go left, right, right, left. So you're, you're kind of like taking the paradiddle and you're moving it so that the, the pattern stays the same, but you're starting on a different one of the, of the notes. So now let's look at the basic paradiddle and its three permutations. So you may have noticed that I played all of the permutations very evenly. So I didn't use any accents. And this is a way just to get a lot of control out of the pattern. If you were to close your eyes and I were to play the paradiddle, you know, without the accents, the goal would be that you wouldn't be able to tell which one I was playing. It would just all sound very even, dot, 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 like that. So the second thing that I do is I add accents to the notes. So. Uh, now I'm going to play the exact same patterns as I played the, the, in part one, which was uh, the, the basic paradiddle and its three permutations. But now I'm going to accent the first, uh, the, 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 how can I say it, the, the first note of the, the single paradiddle. So the right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So even though the pattern is shifting, so for example, with the inverted paradiddle, it's right, left, left, Right, so that last note is the accented note because that's actually the first note of the single paradiddle. Here we go. So now we're going to do the same thing that we did in part two, but we're going to put those accents, so the right hand accents and the left hand accents, we're going to put those on the tom toms. So we're going to do any right hand accents will go on the floor tom and any left handed accents will go on the small tom and all the rest of the notes will stay on the uh, snare drum.
So the fourth way that I practice paradiddles is I practice orchestrating them. And this doesn't really have to do with permutation, although it can, and I'll get to that in a minute. But it's just about, you know, where do you play the paradiddles? Do you play them on the tom-tom, snare drum, cymbals, wherever? So that's what we're gonna, I'm going to show in this uh, part is a few different ways that I like to practice paradiddles. Now, I will note that there's an infinite way to practice paradiddles, but these are some of my favorites. Uh, but I do encourage you just to experiment, try to find some, uh, some of your own combinations. So with all the millions of combinations you can create with paradiddles, here are four that I like to practice. <laughs> 